Part three, disturbing stalkers caught on Twitch live stream. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. These people didn't expect to get followed, stalked, or run into downright disturbing circumstances. But since they were on live stream, they caught it all on camera. Sometimes you hit that little recording button and never know what comes next. When it's live, it's all up to chance. And sometimes that's a terrifying thing. Next time you go streaming, maybe look over your shoulder. For now, make sure you watch to the end and see what we mean. Creepy stream sniper won't take a hint. There's nothing more annoying than someone who can't take a hint, like this streamer's fan who decided to not only crash her stream, but stick around afterward. Okay, so you're not gonna go back to your house, you're gonna just follow me? Yumiko19 is an IRL streamer and this is hardly the first time she's been harassed, but she shows excellent self-control as he lingers beside her, typing away on her phone. See you next time? This isn't his first time around the block, as he tries to tie her down with some plans. She tactfully says that she might be busy and says goodbye. He seems to linger there for a moment before Yumi begins to wave, effectively forcing him off camera and getting him to leave her alone. Smart move. She was being a good sport and everything. Whoever she is, shout out to her. I fuck with you. I love my Asiatic females first and foremost, but I fuck with you. Because you never know what somebody's going through. He was being a weirdo. She still tried to show him some hospitality. She tried to show him some love. Now, if that don't work and motherfucker stream sniping, quick scope his ass. He's going to suffer fall damage when he fall, for sure. His hitbox was bigger than usual, so he's overweight. IRL streamer narrowly escapes creepy stalker. Sometimes you need to make a quick escape. This streamer was apparently being followed for a while, though the clip here is short. Botez is an IRL streamer recording her everyday life. However, as the camera pans around, we see they're making an escape, presumably from the person watching them from afar. The group quickly makes their way inside, only for the would-be creep stalker to come right up behind them, right as the password-sensitive door closes. He watches them as they walk into the seemingly exclusive place, able to put a safe distance and a seemingly heavy-duty lock between them. Streamer harassed at beach. Sometimes IRL streamers are just out there, minding their own business, and people want to interrupt their stream. I Am Jasmine deals with this greatly in her streaming career. People feel they can approach or accost her suddenly. This clip shows as she exits the water to return to her stream as two men approach her. She takes the conversation in stride. They eventually start coming on to her, but quickly walk back when her response isn't what they wanted. I, I wanna one night rob. One night rob? One night rob is... Uh, um, make love. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know? They say it's a Japanese joke. Finally, one of the men sits down next to I'm Jasmine and starts harassing her close up, brushing her leg off and asking her what seems like invasive questions, though mostly trying to act like they've met before. She grows increasingly more uncomfortable as time goes, but doesn't seem able to end the interaction. Streamer catches paranormal activity midstream. Most streamers have a handle on their streams at some point, but this one seems intent on going wrong. This one might not be a stalker, but you'd think he was being watched by how he's acting. The streamer, Robbie, begins acting erratically while booting up his game. Dude! Dude, stop! 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 Did you fucking hear that, Anon? He looks over his shoulder constantly as if he expects someone to be there. Each time there's nothing. No one's watching him. No one's in the room. Yet Robbie keeps hearing it and eventually gets up to check it out. He seems unsatisfied that he can't find anything, but tries to continue his game. Only for all his equipment to fail on him as if some petty specter decided to ruin his day. Oh my fucking god! What do you think? Overreacting? Or not? Creep approaches streamer on livestream. You can live your life, mind your own business, and still be harassed. This streamer caught the moment as a stranger approached her, beginning to ask invasive, uncomfortable questions. What's your name? Um, Alyssa. Alyssa, I'm Tad. She handled it as well as she could, but the man off camera was not to be deterred. She gently rebuffs the stranger by telling him she was streaming, but it takes a second man, also off camera, to come to her rescue at the last moment. Um, I'm currently, uh, on a, on a live 
talking with some people. Luckily, her friend was watching out for her because this stranger didn't seem to want to take no for an answer. Streamer unwittingly robbed Lion. This streamer should have been paying attention or gotten a security camera. The commenters on this are right. How didn't he hear them breaking in? It's hard to imagine that there were no warnings. Suddenly, while playing his game, a man comes up from behind him, threatening the streamer and putting him off camera. The robbers told him to shut up, and the streamer quickly complied and went with them willingly. As we see it, the game keeps going, even as our streamer disappears. It's hard to tell whether this was real or staged, but for the purpose of this clip, it ends and we're left with questions. So many questions. Paranormal activity caught on Twitch stream. If you're streaming, chances are you're comfortable. Bro, you got your own spot. Make sure you get some trip wire. Make sure you, I'm telling you, you think it's not going to happen to you because you're dependent on the comfortability that the system has provided. It may look that way, but this shit happen to people every day. It just ain't happened to you yet. So make sure if you got the money and the means to do so that you up the ante, up your security. And me, I'm going to have some trip wire. I hear something fall. I'm rolling out the bed with the shotgun to your head. Because shit serious. I will not. Life will exploit you for what you don't know. It's about people, places, and things. You're going to go places. There's going to be people there with things to harm you, possibly. So you got to make sure you're ready, damn, being safe. Because who knows? One of them could have caught dude and cut his head. You would have never knew. And you... Let's continue. With being watched. Chances are, though, you aren't expecting those watchers to come from beyond the grave. Streamer Sir Gary Two was home alone, streaming Pokemon, as the door behind him slowly closed. Granted, I did drop my phone on it, and my phone... <sighs> He's clearly freaked out, eventually heading out of the room to see if perhaps it was his roommate. The thing is, he explains, he was home alone, and no windows were open. However, when he... Ghosts are so fucking useless, bro. Again, if you religious when you die, that's the end of all biological function. You're going to go into spectator mode indefinitely where your future will consist of nothing but opening cabinets, motherfucker, or shutting doors. That's it. Or throwing a plate or a piece of silverware. You can't do nothing. You're useless. I believe them spirits and them ghosts was bots when they was inhabiting a body. I believe they was the prisoner as well as the prison guards and fucking it up for everybody else that's trying to fix what was wrong. And now they eternal damnation is walking around earth forever as a ghost. Well, the only thing they could do is open and shut doors. They're useless. I couldn't have been a ghost. What kind of ghost is just opening cabinets and shutting doors? Like, what the fuck? You ain't got a boo, boo or nothing? Like, what the fuck? You ain't got nothing else better to do? I don't get that with ghosts. That's all they do is shut doors. He leaves the room. The door shuts on its own yet again, which he missed, but the chat saw it. It's hard to mistake that. Streamer followed by creepy men. I'm sure the streamer would be much more comfortable if her stalker was a ghost. As she begins streaming, this IRL streamer is approached by an old homeless man who begins an unprompted conversation. Hart? Your name's Hart? Hart. Your name's Hart. Nice to meet you, Hart. My name's Brooke. The first man is fine, at first. Mostly. But a few other people join in, starting to crowd her space. She quickly becomes uncomfortable with the behavior as she tries to regain control of the conversation. She turns to leave and the first man shows back up beside her, not willing to let her go. He begins asking for her to buy him food, then refuses to leave. Eventually, they separate again, and she's still reeling from the interaction, but he's not done. Oh, he's back! You. I just had to you, you just had to follow me? Yes. Why? Because I would uh, love to have those lipstick. You want my lipstick? As the video claims, the man circles back to continue following her after a moment. He began to ask her for a print of her lips, and then suddenly starts love to have the lipstick stick to my dick what, what he was getting that what he was about to say like what the hell should this a goth girl these niggas creepy dog 
You females got it tough. I ain't gonna lie. There's some niggas that get kidnapped in traffic too. You wouldn't believe. There's dudes that go for it as well. Get some big, bulky, ugly, bald head Russians. Like from the Quentin Tarantino movie Hostel to hem you up and put you in a trunk. You're going as well too, buddy. But it's crazy out here for y'all. I ain't gonna lie. All the shit you gotta deal with. <laughs> Starts asking her age. Uh, you're 18, right? Uh, no, I'm 17. I'm sorry. The streamer is just 17, and the man begins chasing her, refusing to leave her be, as she tries to escape the suddenly dangerous situation. Oh, you know you're not. He said he's coming with me. He is following me, guys. He said he's gonna tickle me. Eventually, she does escape to a public space where she feels safer, thankfully. Sushi Potato followed by persistent stalkers. Honestly, some people don't know how to take no for an answer. Sushi Potato deals with this in her streams as people refuse to leave her alone. In this, the streamer begins to try and fix her mask as a persistent man begins to catcall at them. Sorry, 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 my mask is uh, broken. I'm trying to go get a mask. He doesn't want to leave them alone, quickly hitting on the women. The streamer's friend apologizes to the men who begins to question her ethnicity. Yeah. They do get away, and the women can get to safety. And luckily, these men don't follow this time. Too persistent. He looks so fucking persistent. They are entertaining. I'm not gonna lie to videos, but that shit crazy to be in them circumstances. That's it for this video, man. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.